There's no questioning the icon status of Hoyer among racing chronographs, and one of the main reasons is the Monaco. There really isn't another watch like it. And a new legend was born when the Monaco appeared on the wrist of Steve McQueen in the film Le Mans. The Monaco was eventually discontinued, but after the formation of Tag Heuer, things started looking up, and a new company began to reach back into the archives for inspiration. Now, the new Monaco skeleton is here, with some surprising design touches that make it one of Tag Heuer's most audacious yet. So let's take a look at the retro future stylings of the new Skeleton series. If you're at all familiar with the Monaco, the unique 39mm square case keeps with tradition as far as its contours and dimensions, but instead of stainless, the new Skeleton models are rendered in grade 2 titanium, and the lightweight might throw you at first. The case has been sandblasted too, for a look that's more tech than bling and you can have your titanium raw or in black DLC. Although the diameter is reasonable at 39 millimeters, with a height of 14.7 and a lug-to-lug -lug of 47.4, remember, this is a square case, so it's going to wear larger than more traditional rounded ones. Modern Monaco's come in two flavors, retro with the crown on the left-hand side, and the modern with both the crown and pushers on the right and this new skeleton goes for the contemporary look. This is not a watch to shy away from the spotlight, and nowhere is this more apparent than in the details of the skeletonized dial. The skeleton is available in three colorways, a blue or black dial with the raw titanium case, or the Tiffany by way of Tron Riviera blue and black for the black DLC model. Despite the open dial, everything stays legible, thanks to the high contrast elements including the hands, markers, and subdials. The date wheel is fully visible, but pops the current date against a white background at 6, another thoughtful design touch. The whole effect of the dial is high-tech and futuristic, yet it avoids the visual traffic jam that renders some skeleton dials nearly illegible. The hint of the movement from the dial side can be fully appreciated through the sapphire case back. It's the Caliber Hoyer 02, an automatic column wheel chrono with 33 joules, a beat rate of 4 Hz, and an impressive 80 hour power reserve. It features Geneva striping and, my favorite detail, the black rotor that resembles an alloy racing wheel. In keeping with the contemporary vibe of the watch, the strap choice isn't the more traditional leather typically found on a Monaco. Instead, a hybrid black or blue rubber and leather version is included, and it feels right at home. It features coordinated stitching and a matching sandblasted deployant buckle. The Monaco was a futuristic timepiece when it was first introduced more than 50 years ago, and although it's a well-established classic now, the new skeletonized versions feel like a continuation of that theme. It feels new, yet reassuringly familiar, and the blue and black colorways are a nice callback to the original. For more information on pricing, be sure to check out the description below. And while you're there, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest watch reviews and content, right here on the Time and Tide channel. Thanks for watching.